All right, guys, welcome to my top five hidden shortcuts in Procreate in under five minutes. So you've heard that right. I'm going to try to make this video under five minutes while showing you the top five hidden shortcuts in Procreate. You may know one or two or three things even from this list, but just make sure that you stick around until the end of this video so you don't miss anything. So now without any further ado, let's get to it. So shortcut number one, the color pinch zoom. All right, say that you're choosing a color for your illustration. And as we know, we have the color palettes. We can choose by value. You can use the famous color harmony that is a new thing in Procreate 5. And you can also use the classic mode. But one thing that you may not know is that if you use the disc mode, and if you're having a little trouble finding the right exact hue of blue that you want here, for example, you can just pinch to zoom and as you can see, the circle is much bigger and now you can choose the color of blue that you really want with more precision. Shortcut number two, a fast way to swap between your favorite brushes while you're illustrating. All right, now, so let's just say that for this illustration here, you're using three brushes, two or three brushes, but rather constantly. So you're always going back here into the brush menu and you're using brushes either to apply textures or to create the outline of a certain character. And let's just say that the brushes that you're using for this illustration are here on the drawing section of the brush library and you're using sticks, let's just say Blackburn and Evolve. And all that you have to do is, you know, you want to start doing some texturing work you want to get some stuff done, you want to make it super cool. But it's a bit of a pain to be going back and forth multiple times as you develop this illustration. So I'm not sure if you guys know, but if you use the quick menu, mine is activated by a long press onto the canvas, you're then greeted with the six options, which you can also customize. And how you customize them is just, once again, a long press to any of these options, and then you're greeted with a menu. So back to this shortcut here, guys, I'm not sure if you guys know, but you can also, from one of the options, you can use the select brush. And now, if you just scroll down, I believe we were using the, um, our, let's just say drawing one, I believe, and then here we go. The sticks one is just now chosen as the bottom option here. And then let's just say for this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna scroll to the select brush, and then let's just go to drawing, and now we're going to choose Blackburn, for example. Now, when I click on this one, I'm using the Blackburn brush. And if I do quick menu once again, choose to change the sticks, now I'm using the sticks brush. So this is really, really helpful if you wanna get your illustrations rather quickly as you're switching uh, up brushes, you don't have to go all the way back here into the brush menu. Shortcut number three, make sure that you're using the little icon between brush size and the brush opacity for any action that you prefer. All right, guys, this one is actually quite simple, but the way that Procreate comes from the App Store, the way that we download and install this program, this little icon here between the brush size and brush opacity, I believe is always set to eyedropper from the beginning, which is really, really handy for you to pick a color and continue painting. However, this icon is here for a reason and it is for you to actually use it. So if you're not really using much of this icon, you can always go back here into the Actions menu, go into Preferences, and go into gesture controls. Now, as you can see on the eyedropper, the tap the little square is set to on, but you can change to anything. For example, let's just say that I want to go into a quick menu and use the tap the little square to activate it. Now, when I tap this little square, I have my quick menu. So it really depends on how you actually go about on making your illustrations. I do like to draw freely with my left hand and have most of my activations with the right hand. Shortcut number four, double tapping on any preview on your gallery section in order to get to editing quicker. This next one is also super simple, but there's a lot of people who don't know about that. But once you're here in gallery mode, you can pinch in to actually preview an illustration and you can slide just like how we slide content on an iPhone or an iPad to go between previous and next illustrations on your canvas. You can also double tap and now you're in edit mode of that illustration. Well, what a lot of people don't know is that just going back here into the gallery, they think that this is a preview mode only and you can pinch out in order to go back to the gallery and then reopen that illustration. But you really don't have to do that. If you really just wanna edit an illustration and that's the one that you actually want, just double tap and you go into edit mode. And as you can see, the UI just shows up, meaning that you can now edit this illustration. 
And finally, shortcut number 5, pressing and holding on the color swatch while in layer mask mode in order to reveal or hide things within your layer mask. And now for the last shortcut here for this video, guys, I'm pretty sure that you guys know or may have heard of that you can press and hold on this little color here in order for you to go between the previous and the current color that you may have. So the last two colors that you play with here on your illustration, in my case here, is this royal blue and this little vanilla color. If I just press and hold, I can switch between them. But the tip is really not that that one is actually when you create a layer and you set it to layer mask. Now, as you can see, we have the pure white value. And what is this pure white value? Let me just go back into the classic so you can see how it's set to pure white. So basically layer mask works in a way that it reveals or hides things from that layer. By using pure white, you're actually revealing things. By using pure black, you're going to hide things. So what I really wanna show is that you can press and hold and all of a sudden you're already at the pure black value, meaning you didn't really have to open that color panel at all. So now using a brush, I'm just going to erase the, the layer that has the base color of the face of this character here. And if I press and hold, I go back to full white and now I can paint back, let me just use full opacity here, I can paint back the, um, the base color that was on this layer because the beauty of layer mask is that it's never really deleting any pixels, but rather just hiding and revealing things from a certain layer that you apply the layer mask to. So that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did a like would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these videos also on the right side of the screen there's more content for you guys to learn on procreate and expand your skills thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one